Cross-cultural communication barriers. After I talk about what is cross-cultural communication in the last part, this part I'm going to talk about the cross-cultural communication barrier. And there are three topics in this part, including stereotype, prejudice, and discrimination. The first one, stereotype. What is stereotypes? Definition. Stereotypes have traditionally been defined as specific beliefs about a group, such as descriptions of what member of a particular group look like, how they behave, or their ability. As such, stereotypes are cognitive representations of how members of a group are similar to one another and different from members of other groups. A stereotype is an oversimplified, generally over-exaggerated belief that all members of a certain group act and think in the same fashion. A stereotype is an exaggerated or distorted generalization about an entire category of people that doesn't acknowledge in individual variation. Stereotypes form the basis for prejudice and discrimination. The key aspects of stereotypes. Pictures in individuals' hate. Shared beliefs that are part of cultures. A typically group consensus. Can be accurate or inaccurate. Descriptive, believed to be, and prescriptive, it should be like and can be positive and negative. And how people learn stereotypes from? Uh, the first from media, peers and parents. Classical and modern literature or gather information by observing the world. For example, Jews are stingy or African Americans are good at sports. Our models are anorexic or bulimic. Our Muslims or Arabs are terrorists. Our blonde-haired women are unintelligent. Our Asian people are better than people of all other races at math. Our Caucasian Americans are lazy, fat, and stupid. Americans are all rich, informal, materialistic, overly friendly, and drink coffee. Italians are passionate, demonstrative, red lovers, and drink red wine. Germans are stubborn, industrious, methodical, and drink beer. The British are stuffy, polite, thrifty, and drink tea. Japanese are reserved, unemotional, take a lot of pictures, and also drink tea. Let's try this activity. Please answer this question. What stereotype do you have about others? Try to make a list and think about it. Where are those stereotypes from? And is it true? Next, prejudice. Prejudice refers to the attitudes and feeling, whether positive or negative, and whether conscious or unconscious, that people have about members of other groups. A prejudice is a negative belief or feeling about particular group of individuals. Prejudices are often passed on from one generation to the next. Prejudice is a feeling towards a person based on their affiliation with a group. 
When someone is prejudiced, it usually refers to their thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about a certain group of people. These are not the attitudes that are practiced, but only what is cognitively or even unconsciously processed. Example: A person may hold prejudice views towards a certain race or gender. Example: Sexist. To pre and judge. Holding an opinion before you have the facts in evidences, often grows from stereotypes. A thought or feeling doesn't always lead to an action. An unreasonable dislike or preference for a person, group, custom, etc., especially when it is based on their race, religion, sex, etc., it also comes from prejudgment of a certain group in society. For example. Let's say that I own a clothes shop. I think my shop should stay in only the highest class of people's grabs, and no one who looks even remotely low class should enter my shop. However, it would be illegal to actively practice this in a shop, so it only remains my opinion, which is a prejudice against lower class citizens. Eddie thinks that. Meat eaters don't care about the environment, which is, as we've already seen, a stereotype. But if he decides that he does like Jeff just based on the fact that Jeff eats meat, then he is being prejudiced. His feeling of dislike, which springs from his belief in a negative stereotype, is prejudice. Let's watch this video. Hey, why are you talking to Janice Ian? I don't know. I mean, she's so weird. She just, you know, came up to me and started talking to me about crack. <laughs> she's so pathetic. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even. Whatever. So then, eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous. But then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was like weirdly jealous of him. Like if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, "Why didn't you call me back?" And I'd be like, "Why are you so obsessed with me?" So then, for my birthday party, which was an all-girls pool party, I was like, "Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian." I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There could be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so retarded. And then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. When she came back in the fall for high school, all of her hair was cut off, and she was totally weird. And now I guess she's on crack. The movie Mean Girls is filled with ways that people, specifically teenage girls, are quick to judge a person based on their appearance. One scene from two. Movie takes place while Regina is describing another girl, Janice. Regina says, "Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're lesbian." Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There were gonna be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then, her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so retarded. And then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. And she came back in the fall for high school. All of her hair was cut off, and she was totally weird. And now I guess she's on crack. Regina would not invite her to the party because of her appearance. And what it would do to her reputation when, in reality, Janice is the nicest girl when Regina is the jerk. Source of prejudice: social sources, unequal status, social identity, and from cognitive sources, from stereotypes. 
perceive similarities and differences, illusory correlations. Or sometimes a perception can be formed that there is a relationship between events, actions, and behaviors when in fact no relationship exists. So let's try this activity. Write down your experience about prejudice and think about it. Can you change your attitude towards that situation? <laughs> 